Welcome to 3D School and in this video I will teach you how to mirror in three separate ways. The first one is going to be in edit mode, then we have modifiers and after that you will learn how to mirror in sculpting mode. I will leave the timestamps in the description below. The first and easiest is just go into edit mode with top and then here on the top right you can see that you can mirror around the X, Y or Z axis. I'm going to choose the X for right now and I'm going to move this little ear a bit around. And this is how you can mirror an object. This is great for small changes of your mesh, but when your mesh has a more dense geometry, Blender can slow down and get very laggy. I personally like to use the mirror modifier. So let's turn this off, go into our modifier properties and choose our mirror. This is our mirror modifier. And you can see now that if I move this around, we already have mirrored around the X axis. You can choose the X, Y or Z, or you can do them all at the same time. We also have a bisect option. Let me move my little monkey around. And you can see that now, if I don't have any bisect on and I apply this, I go into tab and then wireframe, you can see that this is all overlapping geometry. But what actually happens if I use a bisect? You can see that if I bisect around the x-axis while I have my x-axis on, that only the geometry that is overlapping, which we saw before, right, this geometry, is being shown. And you can of course, because it's a modifier, you can still move this around and uh, yeah, play around with that. We also have a flip option and that essentially just turns this bisect around. So instead of that geometry being shown, the other geometry will be shown. So if I apply it now, you'll see that we do not have any of that um, like overlapping geometry inside. Normally I don't really use this, but I wanted you guys to know. What more do we have? We can mirror an object around another object. So let's say I have a cube here. And now I'm going to mirror this around this cube. You can see that now it gets mirrored here. The mirror will always happen around the origin of an object. So if it is your own object here and we did not select any, it will move around the origin of this object, which is here at this point. So this could be very handy for maybe you're creating a table. And now I want to mirror this leg around the tabletop, X and the Y axis, and here you can see we already have four. But what is also very useful for it is if we have a monkey head, I'm going in the front and I'm actually going to delete one half of here. So I'm just going to select this half, delete those vertices, click on my mirror modifier. Here you can see that now I can just move this around and it will mirror on the other side. But how it is set up right now, you should be a bit careful for moving around the middle edge loop. So you could click on clipping and now the middle edge loop cannot be moved from the middle. You also have the option to merge and vertex groups and a lot of texture options. But these, yeah, you normally don't really use. So let's keep it at that and keep it simple. One more thing I want to show you is you can also mirror in sculpting mode. So let me get some more geometry on here. Apply, go into sculpting and here you can see that the mirror is actually already accepted but you can change the course and it is exactly the same as it was in edit mode so here you can do the x-axis y-axis or z-axis or you can just turn it off and do one side those are the main ways to mirror your model and i hope you guys learned from this leave a like subscribe and maybe check my website out for more in-depth videos i see you guys there